Hi, the Magpie! Hi. Welcome to a video that I'm gonna shoot with Andreas, but he's not here at the moment. He arrives in a few hours because it's uh, 2 a.m. right now. Andreas! <laughs> that was a dusty book. So, this is what I wanna set up in this video. And we save this for the other video. Cello strings. Sh cello? I couldn't find on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet if anyone has tried this on a regular base, but I bet people have. It feels like such a given thing to try because they are like st strings. We're gonna zoom in later, but they definitely look android. They look snaky. They look weird and special. I don't think you can see that here. But I'm gonna set them up on a regular base and that will most likely just work. They also feel really weird. They're also way shorter than I ex Okay, I bought for like a tiny cello. But we work with what we have. This is crazy. I guess it's because you're supposed to slide more, both with this hand and with the bow. I mean, you might consider that a shitty theory, but at least it's a theory. Because it's spectacularly, it feels so nice. And it seems to sound really cool as well. This needs to be, a, there needs to be bands that have this as their thing. Clap on and off. You're uh, already looking at... Yeah, and to see, trying to see what sticks out. Some kind of foam or something. Hey! <laughs> so one of the strings was too short because I don't know sizes when I buy stuff. So this is a trick that I learned one time back in the day. But I mean, it, doesn't it feel like really weird? What, what, what is... What is this? Is, these are flat strings. No, this is cello. Uh -huh. Cello strings. Kellogg's Frosties. <laughs> the string. But I mean, it's really cheap cello strings. Which might be a reason to why it is like it is. But it's really hard to get on camera how weird they actually are. Yeah, but this is kind of similar to flat strings. This one. Okay. But this might be a good point to tell you why we focus on the bass. It's not only because you're a bassist. We were talking a little bit about this before, but one thing is that it it may it gives a lot of more room for thicker things. Like yeah. a lot of things that we want to try out as strings are too thick for a guitar. But also it's fewer strings, which is nice when we do just two of a string and stuff like that. So it all just fits. But this is like the most boring one, but it's also like the one that I feel like people could actually use. Yeah, like actually. Instead of going and buying bass strings, you just buy cello strings. Is, is there some kind of adva advantage? Like if it sounds cool as well, if it sounds <coughs> very different. But why this? Oh, so this one is tuned down because it's too short. Yeah, I don't know how sizes work. I just thought that a cello is big enough. But maybe I bought like kids size or something. This one is tuned in fifth. Is it because it's cello? Or... Yeah, I don't know how a cello is tuned. I think it's fifth. I need some. It's very medieval. Yeah. <laughs> Automatical medieval. I just played medieval style. <laughs> But do you feel like that's something you do automatically because it's a cello? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> okay, some... Um, um, <laughs> an observation. Your fingers will get really dirty. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. But maybe that's strings. normal for new strings or something, I don't know. Maybe. I feel like maybe I should have done research. Would have been more <laughs> valuable. We're not those types of guys, though. No. <laughs> we just try stuff. <laughs> Somebody has to do that. But do you want to try like a bow? What? Yeah, never played a bow though. I don't know if I don't even <laughs> get sound.
here, but it's really cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because it's it's like sharper. Yeah. Typ så här, så här, så här snabbt spel men jag kan inte göra det. Jag inte skulle passa. Det är sådär, jag kan, det blir svårt. Ska vi, ska vi loopa? Skulle vi kunna göra lite ja. loop? Ja. Kanske ni ska ha mindre eh, eko på loopen på de låga tonerna så, så, så lägger vi på det på de höga. Då är vi setting up like a EHX 45,000 looper. Try playing what you played and then we repeat it. Like it automatically becomes a weird tuning, kinda. No, but you tune them in fifths. And you have to do that. No, I don't think so. <laughs> you just ch chose to do it. And then you complain. <laughs> you do something and then you complain about no, it. No, because <laughs> it's so hard, it's tuned like this. <laughs> no, but the thing is, we have to tune... Okay, we should tune this one down, I guess. No, but I think we're done. Yeah, but if... yeah. Like, I could see a band broke this. And if someone knows how to work with a bow, that could be cool as well. 
So it was a fun experiment. Yeah. Here comes my son. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this was a shorter guy. <laughs> I'm just so happy that that shit worked up there with the sugar cube thingy. That just worked. Yeah, okay, yeah. Show, have you shown it properly? No, I don't know. It's like, pretty... I had a lot of... Uh, I was Smart. trying to fix it for a good while and then I remember this trick. So it's really just... In there. Okay, so... And then screwed in place. Like, okay, it's very yeah, you short. Have screws, yeah. I don't know if this is focusing, but... It doesn't matter. <coughs> It is what it is.